Hey guys, welcome back. Over the past few months, I have become interested in Dungeons and Dragons for the first time in my life. I've heard about it, I've just never played it. And at our local game store, one day I went and ended up playing and I fell in love. So while stumbling around on the internet, I found this dungeon in a box. So after playing a few times, I decided I wanted to try to run a game as a DM. And so I found the uh, Essentials Kit, I think it is, at Target for like $15. So I bought that. It has Dragons of Ice or Dragon of Ice Spire Peak in it. And I started running that with some friends and I have had a wonderful time. So when I found Dungeon in a Box, I thought that is awesome. So I subscribed to it. And I've been getting this for a few months now, and I'm going to start showing you guys what comes in these, uh, and maybe you'll be interested too. So let's go to another table and take a look. This is the first month that I received, and I think this is the campaign from year three. So this is going to be all of that campaign. Uh, if you're familiar with Dungeon in the Box, you know what's in this box and everything, but I just want to show it off a little bit because I... I'm very impressed. I think this is around $40 a month for this, uh, but for, for what you get, it's a year long campaign. Uh, you get, uh, let me just show you. Let me just show you what you get. Uh, when I signed up, they were doing a special where you get two free miniatures. So I got this Dark Heaven Bones miniatures. It's from Reaper. This is a Cthulhu shrine. I've also gotten into painting miniatures, so I may, you guys might see me paint some of these on video. So we got that. Uh, and then we got a, our other free mini is a Reaper Skeletal Champion. So those are both, both kind of cool. Uh, and then Dungeon in a Box makes their own minis that go along with, with the adventure. So we get a Tabaxi Pirate and the really awesome Dragon Skull Hermit Crab. Look at that thing. There's the front of the Hermit Crab, if you can see it without the glare. Wow. Really awesome miniatures. Uh, and then we have our adventure, which I'm not going to go into the adventure. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but it's the Star Tide is number one, month one in the year three adventure. One of the really cool things about Dungeon in a Box is they have skinny minis, and these are hard plastic. Let me just show you how thick that is. Look at how thick that plastic is. Hard plastic, fully colored miniatures. So there's that Dragon Skull Hermit Crab that we got as a miniature. And I believe this cat up here would be our Tabaxi Pirate. Let's see. No, the tabaxi is not a cat. Let's see if you can see what that is. Let me get a little bit closer. There we go. So that's the tabaxi pirate. So the cat is not a tabaxi. Uh, I'm honestly not sure if the tabaxi pirate is on this, but you see the front and the back of these fully colored and they come with stands for your minis. So you get those, and then you get these extra things. Well, you get a card saying that it was prepped and checked by Zealous Astral Reaver, quality control. So then make sure this box is correct. You get an envelope with a few things that pertain to the adventure. And then you get some character cards that pertain to characters in the adventure. Sindrail the Stargazer, and Hal Hawkshaw. So those would be two of your NPCs in there. Uh, this is another part of the adventure that you get in box one. I think this is the Astral Compass 
that you have to use. And like everything else, let's see, this is sealed in here. Uh, like everything else in this box, this is extremely high quality. Now this is, this is a, uh, looks like cardboard. Yeah, it's a, it's a cardboard, but you see how thick that is. And that's one side of it. And this is where your uh, a clues or, or something will go on there. And you get some of those in each box. That's what's in this envelope. You can see, I'm not gonna pull those out, but those right there are some of the clues that go on here. So you get that, which goes along with your quest. And another really awesome thing, if I can get it out of the box, is buildable. Okay, oh wait, that's later. Buildable, uh, not terrain, but items to go on your terrain. And these are some of the ones that come in this. And uh, before this video is over, I'll build one of these to show you what it looks like. And then some fantastic maps. And these just feel like you, you don't know how high quality these feel because you can't feel them. But these are really awesome. They're really large. That's a map of the entire Great Sea right there. Ah, I'm gonna throw it down. There's a map of the entire Great Sea, huge map, and then boats that all pertain to the adventure, and then another map in here. So we get two maps, which can also be reused in adventures if you create your own. These are very nice maps. So this is a, a dungeon that appears in this first adventure. Very, very nicely detailed. And then the other side of the map is the dock. So I'm sorry, I'm, uh, let me see. Zoom out, I can't zoom out a lot, but there you go. You can see that's the dock. So, very awesome maps. Fold up nicely. Uh, and that's all that's in this box. So, let's build one of these terrain pieces so you guys can see how awesome they are. So here we are with this buildable terrain. And just like that astral compass, uh, and where does this open? There it is. It's hard to see with the glare. Uh, but just like that astral compass and everything else in here, this is very high quality. So I believe there are instructions on how to put this together, but we get two pieces. And we are going to attempt. Okay, we're just gonna build one of these boxes because that's what this is right here. So it punches out, you see how easy that punches out. And they're already scored, so they fold. And focus. So they fold very nicely, like that. That snaps together, right there. And then the top snaps together. Get a little dovetail joint there. Snap that. Snap this in. And we have a box. So there we go. Let's build these other, we got two other boxes. Let's build these. You see just how easy this goes together. And these just generic wooden boxes. You can use these in any adventure and they're really awesome to have uh as you guys know i also have a 3d printer there we go snaps together nice and so i'm going to be 3d printing some terrain as well uh, probably some dungeon tiles uh, that sort of thing but having these heavy duty cardboard boxes like this. Let's see. There we go. These heavy duty cardboard boxes. That's that's really neat. And you hear that. You hear how like how sturdy these things are. They are thick. Look at this. I'm gonna keep telling y'all this stuff is thick, but this is high quality. So this is an example of the terrain that you get keep calling them terrain, but they're, they're pieces 
that you get with these kits. These are really awesome. Dungeon in a Box. It's really awesome. I really like it. You guys check them out. I'll put links below and all that stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.